Hello, I'm Brian Hayes. I'm a Salesforce and Pardot consultant with Rotiv. We're an official Salesforce partner and we help small businesses automate their processes. This next video is a lesson from our one week Pardot course. If you find it useful, you can sign up for the complete course at academy.rotiv.io or by clicking the link in the description below. In Pardot, there are two different types of lists. There's static lists and dynamic lists. Static lists are ones that you can manually add and remove people from. They don't change unless you change them by adding or removing people. Dynamic lists are a little bit different. You can't manually add or remove somebody from that list. Instead, it's based on rules and you define what those rules are and then it updates automatically. That's why it's dynamic. So by far, I prefer to use dynamic lists. As much as possible, you wanna use lists that you can reuse. Build them once and then leverage them in all sorts of campaigns in the future. Dynamic are best suited to accomplish that because you set those rules up once and then they continually update. So to give you an example of a dynamic list might be leads added this week. We could take a look at the created date of lead records and add them to a list automatically or perhaps existing customers or existing customers in California, or maybe executives, anybody who has a CEO like president, chief executive, chief operating officer, these would make for great dynamic lists and could be used multiple times in all sorts of campaigns well into the future. Static lists also have their place, you know, not my favorite, but they are quite handy for things that aren't gonna change over time. So let's say you just came back from a VIP event or a trade show, something like that. And in your hands, you have the list of attendees. Well, it's in the past, right? People aren't gonna travel back in time to go to that trade show. And therefore we don't need a list that's gonna update. A static list is perfect. We can upload that CSV of people, put them on a static list called the 2022 trade show attendees. Uh, and then we do all sorts of things with it, you know, follow up, run our campaigns off that. So the, typically if, if you've got something where the parameters are not going to change who's on it, like attendance to an event in the past, uh, static list works perfectly well for that. And it's quite easy to manage that. But most of the time I'm going to encourage you to create more dynamic lists. So hopefully in the end you're creating fewer and you're spending more time working on your messaging and working directly with customers instead of building out lists in Pardot. Thanks for watching that lesson from the one week Pardot course. If you'd like to see the other lessons, you can click the link in the description below or go to academy.rotive.io. And if you did find it useful, please hit the like button and click subscribe. Thanks for watching.